Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% Achievement and Trophy Guide and this time we are getting it all in the Innsmouth Case. A brilliant and funny visual novel game developed by Robot Pumpkin Games, published by Assemble Entertainment and is usually available for £12.49 slash $14 redos, 99 US dollar. Uh, but it does go on sale quite frequently so always keep your eyes wide and peeled like a hot potato. So this is a visual novel like no other. It's not one of those annoying mindless games where you just mindlessly press the A button until the 1000 G's unlock. No! This one you actually have to think and make sure to choose the correct choices. <gasps> I know, right? Didn't know visual novels could do that. Uh, this game is inspired by HP Lovecraft and a game where text-based adventure and comedy hasn't existed before this, making it the first of its kind. Otherwise, it's a case of, here's a case, you solve it, your decisions can end up good or bad. Now, achievements and trophies wise, well, there are 27 different endings we need to get for one, plus a whole host of missables on the way, so make sure to pay attention and choose the exact same options that I do. If you do make a mistake, you can just press start and restart the scene anyway, but it is a pain sometimes. So, you're looking at around 2-3 to three hours, maybe a bit less to get this done, so... With that being said, then, let us begin. And I highly advise just going into your settings there, as you can see, and putting the text speed up. Um, now, you can just press the A button to smash through the dialogue, or if you press the B button, it skips over the dialogue completely and just takes you to the, um, uh, the quote, the, the dialogue, the quote, the dialogue. So, yeah, just keep mashing the B button, um, and we'll start it off. So, we're going to start it off by staying at our desk. Next, we're going to choose a cigarette. A cigarette. Say, who is it? Invite her in. Aha, uh -huh. I wonder where this be going. Which is a little bold. Kiss her hand. Aw, oh, yeah. Keep flirting. Aw, oh, yeah. Pay her a compliment. Oh, yeah. Her eyes. Oh, yeah. Go for the jugular. Hot. And next, choose true beauty. And that's going to get us the one night stand achievement unlocked. Now, choose a blanket. And then the top option. By but. Oh! Nice. Face, fish face. Uh, uh, next, choose by bus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nice face, mate. So, yeah. So, already begun and we've already um, got our weenie wet. Happy days. Right. Talk to the cleaner. God damn. Leave a donation. Show your ticket. Just keep walking. To the rear bench. Need to get rid of the uh, <laughs> need to get rid of the itch that Dahlia's give us. Read newspaper. <laughs> Read some more. And then choose the side window. Damn, my my, my nuts are really itchy. What what did Dahlia give us? My God. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Uh, ish. <laughs> right. Uh, turn around. Oh, my favourite lady in here. Who the hell are you? Look at a little dance and a little eyebrows. Amazing. Sure, why not? And the music on this bit's amazing as well. Uh, thank her. One week. And next, choose the harbour, which would be the third option. The harbour. I go bang tidy mate. Right, so we've got the thrush from Dahlia, and uh, so let's go. Look around. <laughs> Sorry, not many times to make jokes in in this one. Uh, to the church. What are you looking at me for? Join the crowd. Oh, nice beard, mate. Jesus. Um, get involved. Get involved, even. Wish I could grow a beard like that. 
tentacle. It's Mr. Tentacles for an arm for a tentacle. Uh, I can help you. Tentacle for an arm and a tentacle for a leg. You explain to me what's going on. Try to follow what he's saying. Try to intervene and stand in between them. The top option. Turn to the teaching of their religion. And then choose enter the church. Because this can only go well, right? With tentacle beards and stuff. Right, once we're here, choose look around. Look more closely at the painting. Also look at the other paintings. And then choose the gardener. That should unlock us the history lesson achievement. The gardener. Walk up to the altar. And then choose disguise your voice. Er, yes, pop. <laughs> Although nobody's got a voice like that, so yeah. Um, I'll kick your ass, pa. Or kick your ass. Kick your ass. Ah, sounds posh. Next, choose, of course. Any advice, pa? To stop looking like a vampire? Anything else? And now, let's go to the lighthouse. To the lighthouse, to the lighthouse, and you can't touch my barrow day. Right, choose danger. Third option, Mr. Danger. Stranger danger. Right, now choose enter. Walk up the stairs. Keep walking. Keep walking up. A warm and fuzzy feeling in the pit of your stomach. Yeah, that's probably what Dahlia's given us, dirty bitch. Inspect the books. <laughs> Sorry. Up to the last level. Now choose, look at the cube more closely. And then choose, get out of this place, which should unlock us the strong-willed achievement. So get out of this place, strong-willed should unlock. Now choose, just get out of this place, the top option. And then we can choose, keep walking to the beach. Might as well uh, go on holidays while we're working. Eh, why not? So, now we're at the beach. First, we're going to choose cocktails, which will be the second option there. Cocktails. Eh, cock. To the beach bar. Because why not? It's thirsty work walking about. Take up one of the deck chairs in just a second. There it is. So, take up one of the deck chairs to somewhere more private. Mm. Need that thrush cream, buddy. <laughs> Excuse me. Now choose along the beach towards the lights and a rave. A favorite pastime of yours. Take part. Now choose. Now choose. Now choose. Ah, why the hell not get over here? So basically, a fish monster wants to bang us, is that is what's going on. So, ah, uh, why not the hell not get over here and now choose the full lips and long tongue. And we've already slept with Dahlia and she's given us thrush. Now we've also slept, slept with a fish monster. Right, so now we've got all types of crap happening. Um, glad to see we're not picky, apparently. Choose the second option, <laughs> look for another way in. <laughs> Jesus, banging a fish monster, tidy. Choose give up. Now choose stay in the shadows. Knock on a door and ask for help. Try another door. Try to provoke a reaction. You have beautiful eyes. Oh no, I see where we're going with this. Old Tomb Raider titty here. Um, why certainly? Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. Join her. Oh, God. Oh, no. Three already. Jesus. Now choose the patrols outside. And what's just happened is we've just slept with Tomb Raider Titty old person. 
Okay, now choose the second option, which will be incredibly hot. So that's three people we banged in one ending. Not all of the same quality either. Choose incredibly hot. <laughs> and <laughs> when the next one, now choose cool. So, well, there we go then. That's the first ending done out of 27, which is Innocence. Not only that, we also banged Dahlia, who hot, but gave us Thrush. Fish Monster, which gave us Fish Aids. And the old lady, who was probably the best out of the three. Uh, not, not that I know, of course. <laughs> Still, it's a very good start. Either way, um, cluelessly, we escaped from In's mouth. We didn't have a clue what was going on. So, now what we're going to do, go up to the top, and we're going to choose the city entry option, and then press load chapter. So you've got to make sure that you press city entry there, and then we can load up the chapter. So we'll be doing this quite a lot after every um, ending. So, here we are again. We're going to choose turn around. Our favourite little lady's back. Favourite bit of music. Who the hell are you? I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? Now choose sure. Why not? Thank her. Thanks, Tomb Raider boobies. One week. And the city centre. By the way, when I say Tomb Raider titties, I mean, you know... The, the ones from um, the PlayStation 1 days and that. Go to the fountain. Close to the other tourists. Keep watching the family. Approach the shady figure. Because, of course, that's always what you do. Direct and from the front. And now we can quickly rush around the corner. Nice uh, mustache, buddy. Throw yourself against him. And go for his throat. And lovingly, we get our throat cut, basically. So that is what's that is what's happening here. So the first heading was fantastic. We slept with three different things. Having a great time before heading home. And this time we get our throat, throat slit. So, um, tis but a scratch. Luckily, we can just keep replaying these endings, so let, let us do that. So, obviously, point down the finger at the bottom there. Go to the very top, and this time we're going to load the chapter Town Square. So, make sure that says Town Square at the top, then we can load the chapter. Right, let's do this. Go to the fountain. Close to the other tourists. Keep watching the family like a perv. Approach the shady figure like, like a perv. Uh, direct them from the front. And again, we're going to quickly rush around the corner. Now, a lot of, a lot of the times we'll be doing this, by the way, going back on ourselves. Throw yourself against him again. But this time, try to pin down his arms. Second option. And now we can punch him. And that will unlock the Not a Mile Watch achievement. So there it is. Now we can choose the top option search his clothes. Look through his wallet, or look through the wallet. Take the keys and wallet with you. So we've been here one day and we're already punching and robbing things. Um, beat it. Not, not, don't beat him off. No, no, nothing like that. Can't beat off fish. That's weird. Now we can enter City Hall. Um, <coughs> I, I don't judge, actually. It's up to you what you do in your own time. Right. Uh, choose the third option. Just wander around for a bit. Just beat it. Three. Uh, choose the third option. Go into an empty office. Number three, I was going to say. Go into an empty office. Second one down. Open one of the files, and that will unlock the I Want to Believe Achieve. Now we can choose the top option, examine the desk. A lot of fish porn on there for some reason. Choose the only option here, leave the office. Fish porn. Now we can choose the fourth option, leave the town hall. There we go, going well, going well. Right, now we are going to go somewhere a little bit different this time. 
So down the alleys, here we are. Now choose the second option, barbershop. And enter. We need Am's haircut for that thrush of ours. Uh, look behind the counter. Okay, enough of the thrush now, honestly. Uh, is, this, is this how you treat all your customers? And then what happened? What are you talking about? Let him talk. Ask for a haircut. The third option. Now choose, of course. And choose the fourth option over your bald head, which is hilarious. So fourth option down over your bald head. Try to calm him down, which is the second option. And this will be the third out of 27 endings, just while he basically cuts our head off for taking the piss out of him. So you never want to piss off a barber. If you're bald, don't go into a barber and make the prank. They'll end up cutting your head off. It's just, we've seen it in films and TV shows and games. It's going to happen eventually too. So that's the third up, uh, third ending done. Now we can go into the fourth one. And to do that, let us go ahead and click the hand there at the bottom. Eventually, there it is. Go all the way back up to the top, and we're going to go back into the town square. So, click it. There we go. Right, okay, we're, we're getting somewhere now with life. Right, town square, low chapter. And first one, we're going to do the fourth option, scope out the surroundings. There it is. Back into the alleys, again, press the B button, of course, like we have been doing, to just smash the dialogue, and then continue to the arcades, which, again, is the fourth option -y. Okay, first one gives you a lot of nostalgia, which it would. Then we're going to choose look at games, look at the games. <clears throat> then the retro game machines. I like where this is heading. Try playing for a little bit. And then the fourth option, Pixel Bias. Or Pixel Bias. Pixel Bias, yeah, that one. Uh, keep playing. Next level. Again, don't worry about the case and trying to find the missing girl. Just keep playing games. Keep going. Or oh, Cthulhu 3 go in. And then Cthulhu Plat A in again. And then you can just choose the top option, they're all the same. But after choosing the top option, you should get the Video Games Are Evil Achievement. Lovely, right, so now we are um, out of the Video Games Arcadeness. Now we can get back into the Gilman Hotel, and we're going to choose the second option, Look For Another Way In. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, Give Up. That's good detective work, buddy. Giving up <laughs> already. Okay. Now we're going to walk towards them. Don't do anything else. Start complaining. That's a great beard, Santa. Evil Santa's got pissed off with doing night shifts all the time. Start complaining. And then choose meh, the third option. Like he's a sheep. Meh. Yes, well, sheep, we all get it. We know the joke. Um, try to loosen the shackles. Remain silent. And then choose the second option. Could you possibly not set me on fire for that? Which would be nice. Very handy of them, but apparently not, no. Uh, I love pineapple on my pizza. Second option. Which you deserve to burn at the stake for that, to be honest. No offense. And number two brings you in a piece. And that is the fourth out of 27 endings. Um... Yeah, again, don't get offended by the pineapple on pizza. It's just weird to me, okay? And it's weird to Italians, and Italians will hate you for it. I guarantee. But that's the fourth ending. So now we can um, go back, load the Town Square chapter again. So we are heading back to Town Square. <clears throat> like I said, a lot of the time we're doing this, having to replay just the, the same parts a few times just to get to another point. But it's all for a good cause. So, number four, scope out the surroundings. And once again, we're picking the fourth option. 
continue to the arcades. And here we go. So again, it's number one. It gives you a jolt of nostalgia. Look at the games. Because again, why the hell wouldn't you? Now choose first person shooters. Which is the third option there. First person shooters. Now choose Maison of the Unliving. <laughs> There's also Boom and Quark, but we're not going to come into them uh, just yet. I wonder what they could be. Uh, Q for MOTU. And then don't say anything. And then keep watching the intro. And then keep watching the intro, which is the third option this time. And then keep watching the intro. Guess what the next one's going to be? That's right. Keep watching the intro. So <laughs> that one should be good. So now everyone's all pissed off because we've just watched a 20 minute. Oh, it's Fish Face. Uh, choose to talk to Tabitha. What's up, Fish? Um, ask for her name. I don't know. Um, now choose nice try. <coughs> Excuse me. God damn. Now go to the address you've noted down. There we go. Right, so we're going to talk to all fish flaps right here. Um, now choose in's mouth, which is the third option there. And now choose precisely. Now choose very excited indeed. Now choose wait. Fine. Let's give her another half hour. And next we are going to choose to walk past them. Oh, hello. Right. Well, you've got a prison face for uh, stalking school kids, haven't you? You bloody weird bastard. Um, anyway, <coughs> excuse me, he does actually get us going, so we need to inspect your surroundings, which is the top option there. He does put us in a cell. Talk to the woman. Oh, hi, girl. Who are, who are you? And, <laughs> wow, I feel safe with him around. Now choose to play along. He's a great looking cop, huh? Jesus Christ. Okay. Now with the next, but then we're going to talk to Kate. So, you're also a private investigator. I would have chose to flirt with her personally, very poorly, but yeah, maybe another one. Uh, did you spend the night with Mrs. Marsh? <laughs> because we did, and she gave us thrush, damn it. Uh, say something. Say something. Where are you taking us? Say something I'm giving up in you. Sorry, I had to say that one. Right, keep walking. And just keep walking, walking, walking. And eventually when we get into the next page, we're going to keep walking. <sighs> too much walking, too much walking. Anyway, for some reason, this evil looking guy is called Gary and we need to agree with Gary. So go ahead and do that. Agree with Gary. And now choose suggest that everyone goes home. No! No! Go berserk. Berserk. But why? Choose but why? And now choose I cannot see any proof of that. Get down, let's get down to business. Give me one more. The high priest. One more high priest, one more high priest to do it is. Uh, and explain the basics of modern management theory. And with that one, that should be the fifth ending. It's the new the new economy, stupid. And there we go. So we lead in's mouth into the future, which is... Oh, and we get a cheeky little um, McDaggins right there as well. Probably just a lot of fish flaps and, you know, a lot of crabs in there and stuff. Um... Probably not what we're looking for. So, 
<laughs> not the best anyway. Right, what we need to do now is choose the load last chapter option. Which was the second one down there. So load last chapter. And we're going to keep walking. Eventually we're going to keep walking. There we go. Now we're going to agree with Gary. And if I, I just Gary, no, no. Come on, Gary. Nobody's this evil and called Gary. Agree with Gary anyway. And now we're going to choose suggest that everyone goes home. Sure. Now choose to volunteer. Okay, let's get it over with. Come in, haven't got a day. Grab the dagger. And then choose throw the dagger into the abyss. And that is the sixth out of 27 uh, endings. I got a sinking feeling. Boom, boom. Any other Shikari fans? I love them. Right, so we drowned Glug. That's, that's pretty much it. There's nothing <laughs> nothing more to say to it than that. We drowned Glug. Okay, cool. Right, we're going to load last chapter again. It's the second option there. Make sure to load last chapter. Rini. And we're going to keep walking again for the first bit. Keep on walking, walking. And we are going to agree with the evil Gary. Suggest that everyone goes home. Sure. Volunteer again. And then choose. Okay, let's get it over with. And then grab the dagger. Only and the neck for the next time, the next one, we're going to attack him with the dagger. So choose the top option, attack him with the dagger, and that's going to be the Dagon's embrace, <laughs> embrace, embrace ending. See, nice eye, beautiful, all done. That's the seventh one done, and we are getting through it slowly. Dagon has accepted you as a sacrifice, a great honor. Uh, 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 uh. I don't want to be a goddamn sacrifice, mate. I don't want to go home. I don't want to be in the land of fish and crabs and thrush. I don't want it. Let me go home. But apparently we're a sacrifice. So what we're going to do now is load up chapter Town Square again. Anyway, so go to Town Square, load up the chapter. Let's try this again. We're not doing very good at this whole detective-y stuff so far, are we? So now we're going to scope out the surroundings again. Let's try it all over again, shall we? Next, we're going to continue to the arcades once more. The music in this game is really cool, by the way. I really enjoyed it for everything, especially for the woman at the beginning. Um, gives you a jolt of nostalgia. Look at the games. And choose first-person shooters. And next, we are going for Boom. Now, I wonder what that could be a little reference to. And then Q for Boom. Especially when you start to hear the music now, then you'll get it. Strategically. So the top option there, strategically. Then choose by running circles around them. It's so cool. Best music. Uh, look down. Now we can choose to talk to Tabitha again. What's up, fish flaps? Fish flappy face. Show her the photo. Now choose, sorry, what? Now choose, wrong. And then we can follow Evelyn. Because her name's not whatever she said it was. So we've been tricked and duped. Oh my god. Right, next we are going to talk to the girl. <clears throat> and now we can talk about video games. Which everyone loves to do. That is everyone's favorite thing, even if you don't like video games. Choose find out more. And let's go. Now we are going to be choosing enter with her. Which, if there are any cops around, it's not like that at all, honestly. Ugh. Um, hello, beautiful. If it isn't Dahlia. Hmm. It's the old thrush lady. Right, now choose Dinner Sounds Splendid. And then choose Talk About Last Night. Don't tell her that you already slept with a fish monster in that as well. Um, unbridled Passion Between Us, which is the top option there. Kiss her already. 
and then follow her without delay, which is the second option. Again, I might have fish breath, but it's nothing like that at all. Honestly, I didn't sleep with an old lady either, so it's all rumours. Right, look around the dining room. And then, uh, top option, decline. And then we can insist... Then wait for the food. And then we're going to be a little charmer, to be honest. <laughs> because you don't have them seducing eyes. We're going to say, you look stunning tonight. And that's all you got to do to get into a weird fish monster's pant things. Use this opportunity to flee. And then for the second one, choose Flee the Scene, and that is the eighth ending done. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, uh, you won't get, <laughs> you won't catch this flu thing from, uh, from uh, around here, so you're all cool. So, we have been shot, mind blown. Could have just shot me in the ass, I would have stopped running, to be honest, but apparently they shot me in the head. So, what we can do is load last chapter. And here we are then, back at the Marsh Mansion. So, you look stunning tonight, you seduction priestess, you. Now choose to readjust your clothes. <laughs> Why? Why ever so? Got a banana in that pocket? I want to take you here and now. Oh, I got a gun in your pocket? And then choose... Eventually. I'm more of a lone wolf kind of person, so the second option down, because apparently she wants me to, which she wants to marry me, which, nah, nah, not happening. Okay, Dahlia is holding something shiny in her hand, second option. And then choose to find an open window. There it is, find an open window. Alright, getting through it lovingly. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, really t terrible, unprofessional of me. Right, makes you think. Wait and gather some strength. Now choose flirt. Because that is how you get out of being stabbed. Do a bit of flirting, everyone will be fine. Well, I'm free for the night. Apparently. Now choose the second option. Cute. Question mark, apostrophe. And now choose the second option again. Wait. Next, choose Bargain, and explain what's going on here. Right, third option, Exception. And then choose, just to clarify, the downstairs bit. Was it the smallest you've ever seen? Good, grew that myself, sadly. Did I mean nothing to you? And you've got a knife in your hand, haven't you? Good assumption. Right, now choose confess your love. Because that that's when you know things are getting desperate when you confess your love to someone. Now let's choose, let's run away together. There it is. Now nothing has to happen today, damn it. And happy day, she lets us go. Now we can stay calm. Or she died, whatever. <laughs> Close enough. Now we can choose to fire a warning shot as soon as the next page turns. So there it is. Second option, fire a warning shot. And that ends number 9 out of 27. Transformation. And what do we transform into? Uh, just a fish monster thing. I mean, we already know what the inside of one of them looks like, apparently. With our own human uh, fishy thing. So, scales in all the wrong places. Yes, where our, where our testes used to be, there are now two little scales. Still about the same size though, embarrassingly enough. Anyway, when that one is done, we can now just load the last chapter again. Ooh. So, load the last chapter, and then when it kicks in, we're going to choose Makes You Think. Which is the third option again. So, Makes You Think. Now choose wait and gather some strength. It does. When you're about to be stabbed, like you, you do think about life. Uh, flirt. 
Well, I'm free for the night. Winky wink face. Cute? Question mark. Did I mean nothing to you? You've got a knife in your hand, haven't you, Squidward? You like Krabby Patties. Uh, confess your love. <clears throat> Propose to her. Now that's extra desperation if you need to get out of a situation. And then choose yes. And there we go. We've made it, sort of. Right, next we're going to choose makes you a bit horny. Which, hey, plenty of sites for that. <laughs> weird, weird sites. Keep silent during the ride. Which ride are we talking about here? Oh, sorry. Okay. And now we're going to choose Dahlia. Do you know this woman? When the pages turn. Oh, Henyo, Gary. So there you go. Dal Dahlia, do you know this woman? Yes, she's the one that gave me the thrush cream. Damn you. Damn you all to hell. Now choose, uh, sure, okay. Now choose, throw the dagger into the abyss. Next, pick, the wedding's off, sweetheart. She's tamping, fuming. But the wedding's off, sweetheart, and now choose... Also sneak to the exit. Also sneak to the exit there, second one. And now choose to punch him in the face. Oh, it's that same weird, creepy, bush outside school guy. Yeah. Leave on your own. And now we can tell Fishface the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So the top option, tell her the whole truth. And then the second one, you're probably the result of a union between a woman and a fish. And that will get us an achievement for really breaking a fish face's slash kid slash whatever the hell that's supposed to be is heart. So that's hard truth achievement unlocked and the a bad feeling um, ending as well. So that should now be 10 out of 27. So we are getting through it ever so slightly. Sorry, fish face. So we've returned to Boston. We did everything we could. And now we're just going to get a little bit of Jack Daniels on the go. I'd relax with a bit of TV and never go back to that friggin' place again. So, let's load up the last chapter anyway. I don't want to eat no fish and I don't want to see no crabs ever again. Okay, makes you a bit horny. Again. Man, this, this guy's real horny. Uh, keep silent during the ride. A little too horny. Next, we're going to uh, end up at the back of the church of Dagon. And we're going to see Gary the wiener. And this time we're going to choose Dahlia. Do you know this woman? The Gary, the, the Gary woman. Yeah. Now choose, uh, sure, okay. And now we're going to choose to sacrifice Lonnie. Top option, to sacrifice Lonnie. Now push Lonnie into the abyss. So push Lonnie into the abyss. Ah... Now choose Profoundly Liberating, second option, and that's going to be the 11th ending done, where we end up getting married to Dahlia, so well, that's pretty cool, I think, I don't know, is, is that, I, I, are we supposed to be turned on by that or scared? I suppose that's what you want in a relationship, are you going to wake up and have a nice breakfast, or is she going to chop one of your testes off and feed it to the dog, who knows, but that's an exciting relationship. Anyway, we're going to go to Villa Marsh now. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Villa Marsh and load up that chapter. So I think that's always an exciting relationship, isn't it? Am I going to wake up with one ball sack missing? Who knows? So, from here we're going to talk to the girl. Next we're going to talk about video games. And now we can find out more. Me, me, me. Let's go. Right, now again we're going to enter with her. Again, cops know what it looks like. I'm trying to get after her mother. And say, hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful. Dinner sounds splendid. Now we can talk about last night. And choose unbridled passion between us. 
Man, she got a hell of a chin, by the way. I didn't notice before. So unbridled passion between us, and then kiss her already. And now choose follow her without delay. And why is she rubbing her booby for? She already turned on? Damn, this, this game is just one big horn fest, isn't it? Right, next we are going to be choosing to take a seat. We're going to be respectful this time, so take a seat. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let the wine breathe. Which you'd be a bit worried if you if wine's breathing. Time for you to get out of there. And now we're going to choose... You look stunning tonight. Now choose to readjust your clothes. Again, your banana or gun, whatever's in your pants can... Uh... Now, maybe we can start by going to the cinema. It's very respectful of us for once. Boston has quite a few cinemas, among other things. Uh, BDSM centres and swingers clubs. Um, is that a yes? And then choose, but I don't understand, which will unlock us the compassion achievement. So, but I don't understand, and that should unlock the compassion achievement. Now choose, did you say something wrong? So top option, did you say something wrong? And then the only option here is to leave in's mouth. Ho 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 ho, alrighty. So, what we can do now is stay in the shadows. Now choose to keep moving through town. There it is. Now cover up your face. Again, a lot of fish face monsters, but you're very wary of COVID and everything. Fair play. I'm just going for a walk. Sorry, angry Santa. Jesus Christ. Mrs. Claus not giving it to you enough, huh? Yeah. Right, Isaac. So second option there, Isaac. And then choose, thanks guys. There we go. So angry Santa let us go. That's all good. A uh, few more things to do. And we're going to choose the option. You'll walk if you have to. Damn it. Now choose a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. That's one long ass journey, mind. And then choose to keep going. And now we can walk faster. Now we can run a bit faster, and that'll be that for that particular ending. So, that should be now the final destination, 12th out of 27th endings. We suffered from a heart attack recommendation, less stress. That is very good, valuable life lessons as well, so fair play to the devs for putting that one in. Don't stress out, you won't have a heart attack. <laughs> Simples! Plus stop eating butter, lard-infused bacon sandwiches, that also helps, but... Anyway, now what we're going to do is load up the chapter for Villa Marsh once again. So Villa Marsh, load chapter. By the way, I do hope the pacing of the video is okay. I didn't want to be going too fast or too slow, so hopefully it's all good. Right, so we're going to talk to the girl again. Now we're going to talk about video games. Again, we, we are going to start moving off Evelyn and all that soon, so that'll be good. Uh, find out more. Let's go! But it does get a bit annoying doing these bits over and over, to be fair. Now we can enter with her. Joke about police after her mother, blah, blah, blah. I've already said it. Um, now we can say hello, beautiful. And then dinner sounds splendid. As she rubs a boob in front of a kid. That's weird. It's not bitty time. Follow her. And then follow her without delay. Okay, right. Back to the Stanmarsh uh, Mansion. Now choose to take a seat. And decline. Now insist. And then wait for the food. Which is very nice. You don't want to be drunk. You don't want to, you know, accidentally get uh, someone pregnant. You know, a fish face monster's pregnancy. Hmm. Right, now choose, you look stunning tonight. And then readjust the clothes, banana, gun in your pocket, etc. We know the joke by now. Maybe we can start by going to the cinema. And silence. Silence! Now choose, I love fish. 
<laughs> yeah, we know. We've already seen how much you love fish. Weirdo. Now choose who on earth is this? Where are your manners? Oh, well, aren't you just a bowl of fun? Where are your manners, you old fart? <laughs> Go one better? Fight back? If you lose against this guy, you stink. Uh, which we are going to. Um, choose the plate. And then choose to try and calm him down. And instead of just punching him and running away, we get strangled to death. So, yeah, it was only a matter of time. I mean, with the way we've been going and the things we've seen, yeah, true that. So that is now 13 out of 27 endings for being strangled. And again, not even in a good way. Not, not the way we all like. So now we are going to go back. <laughs> Sadly, we are going to go back to Villa Marsh, load up the chatter, and we're going to talk, talk to the girl and about video games and go through the whole bloody house again. It's... It gets to a point where it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but, you know, the things we do for achievements. And so, talk to the girl again, anyway. And then talk about video games. Find out more. Let's go! Enter with her. Hello, beautiful. Dinner sounds splendid. Like, actually, no. I'll just nip back home, grab a McDonald's. It's it's fine. Uh, follow her. But this time, we're going to start looking around. So, top option there, start looking around. Not that it made much of a difference, apparently. But it all, it does, it does. Every little thing does make a big difference. So now, we're going to choose to take a seat. And now, hand her your empty glass. Now choose to us. Now choose to imitate her. Hey, I get big boobs and I give you thrash. Wait, wait, wait. Now choose to smell the wine again. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what imitation that was. Now intentionally spill the wine. Second option. And now, when we get here, we can finally do some more snooping around. So do some more snooping around. Now we're going to follow the corridor down the other way. Second option. And now we can enter the study. Right, now we can choose to open one of the files, which is the top option. And that will get us the achievement, is this the bathroom? So there we go, happy days, everyone's... <laughs> Everyone loves it. Right, now we can choose to leave the study, which is the bottom option. Uh, just uh, These achievements do unlock eventually, but it does take a while for some reason. A bit of delay on them, but, you know, we get there in the end. So, is this the bathroom that is uh, unlocked? We're all good. Now, we are being about to be stabbed, so choose the option for makes you think, which is the third one. Wait and gather some strength. Now we can flirt. Oh, sorry, I really want you to sit, use my face like a seat. Um, well, I'm free for the night. Cute? Question mark. Wait. Bargain. Something hot about a woman with a knife in her hand. Ooh. Um, right. Explain what's going on here. Unless that's just my weird thing. Yeah, probably. Uh, exception. Nice neck, by the way. That's very giraffe necky ish Just to clarify the downstairs bit. Again, smallest thing you've ever seen. Yeah, shame, isn't it? Now choose to make it quick, will you? There we go. So third option there. Make it quick, will you? And that's basically us. Um, yeah, that's us dead again. We die a lot, even even more so than Ethan Winters from the Resident Evil games there. Right, so, Dali Marsh set us up, you goddamn tool. But it's what pretty women do. Men get sucked in by pretty women. Th that's why women have the power. 
<laughs> because men are stupid when it comes to it. Yeah, we all know, we all are. So this time we're going to City Entry. So we're finally done with that bloody Villa Marsh. Now we're going to load up the chapter for City Entry. Uh, that was the 14th ending, by the way, the Bla Black Widow one. Now we're back at the beginning with a happy old lady. So turn around and enjoy the music again. Yeah. Doodaloo. Who the hell are you? Old Tomb Raider Tiddy PS1 is back. Actually, I'm looking for someone. Oh, hello, Muriel. I thought you were a mermaid. Keep flirting. Oh, oh, here we go again. One old lady's not enough for you. One week. And then choose the harbour. Now, choose to look around. And now go to the wet grotto. Ooh, wet grotto, eh? I wonder what this could be. Okay, it's exactly what you think it's going to be. But you won't give up that easily. Second option. Walk down the stairs. And now we can choose. I'm looking for a loose girl, if you know what I mean. Wink and wink and face. Now choose whatever. And now we're going to choose the third option, Koi. There it is, Koi. McCoy's crisps. Right, now we're going to choose top options all the way through. So flirt. Now choose a compliment. Choose to kiss her hand. Although sexy time is always an intriguing and more appropriate option. And then choose it turns you on. And then with that, basically it means we ended up sleeping with the fishes. In a good way or a bad way. I assume it's the bad way, but... Um, oh yeah, well, we were eaten in the brothel, so... We weren't eaten out, it wasn't the good kind of being eaten, we were swallowed whole, so a bit, bit of a minor setback, yeah, but um, luckily we can just go ahead and load up the last chapter and try and try again. So that's the 15th ending we just did there. So, choose, but you won't give up that easily. Walk down the stairs. I'm looking for a loose girl. Whatever. And this time we're going to choose the second option, Don. Now, who is Don? Don is uh, not who you think he is. Right, but apparently for us, he is just our type, because that's what we're going to choose. He is just your type. <laughs> Well, I can't say nothing. Uh, wait to see where this goes. The restraints are up. Your private life. Keep going. And then, last but not least, second option, read out the text. When do we get to climax? That's an excellent point. Sadly, we've just died from it. So, this is the worst brothel in the world, by the way. Of all the brothels that I've never been to, I don't know, it could actually happen. So, we regret nothing. <laughs> we were sacrificed to Dagon in the brothel. I hope real brothels are not like that, mind. Ah, c can I just come in for a quick, just 10 seconds release before I go back out? Uh, just don't kill me, stab me in the heart and that, yeah? Okay, thanks very much. Right, load up the last chapter again anyway. <laughs> thanks for that, Don. Doucheberg. And it's the same thing, so we're going to not give up that easily. We're going to walk down the stairs. And again, we're going to be looking for a loose girl. Whatever. And this time, it's the top option, Priscilla. Nobody wants a Karen. Sorry, Karen. I'm just joking, Karen. You're all fun and loving. Right, now we're just going to choose to get on with it. And then what that's going to do is actually unlock the Ancient Spice achievement for us for, um, 
we're basically banging Priscilla. So what we can do is press the uh, start to bring up the pause menu, choose to restart the scene, as you could just see, and then we'll go back to it again. So again, but you won't give up that easily. And we'll do that a few times later on. Um, walk down the stairs. I'm looking for a loose girl, like the ones I used to know. Uh, whatever. Wherever. We're meant to be together. And choose Priscilla again. This time we're not going to sleep with her, which is a damn shame, of course. But this time we're going to ask her about the interior design. So the top option, ask about the interior design. Try small talk. Tabitha Marsh, top option. And then choose the beach. So it's always nice going to spend money... Uh, as we choose the beach right here so, yeah, Always great to um, save some money by talking to someone instead of sleeping with them But there we go, happy days Right, once the game auto saves, which it basically should have by now I just press the B button to go to the next dialogue just in case But what we're going to do is press the start button And we're just going to go back to the main menu So press start, go back to the main menu But again, just make sure that the auto save happened Otherwise it might mess uh, some stuff up for you and then when that happens, we can go to load chapter, and we're going to load up the escape chapter. So all the way at the bottom, escape, and then press to load chapter. There we go, about to fall, eh? Right, stay in the shadows. Knock on the door and ask for help. Try another door. Try another door. Try to provoke a reaction. Oh no, I need a place to stay for the night. It, if it is an old Tomb Raider titty from PS1 days, god damn it. Confess. Agree. Walk into the garden. You can get, get get away from my potato sack, love, I tell you. Now choose what's in the bag. <laughs> and then choose the fourth option, I've changed my mind. And with that, that is the 17th out of 27 endings now called Buried Alive. Ethel rubs her chin. That's not all she was rubbing, I tell you. Dirty Ethel. Get bonk. Go to horny jail, Ethel. No, no, no. So we died in a stupid way, but we didn't have to dig our own grave, so... Although nobody, you can't dig your own grave if you're already dead, so it really doesn't matter, apparently. Right, so load last chapter up anyway. And once again, we are going to stay in the shadows. Now we're going to knock on the door and ask for help again. Um, try another door. Try to provoke a reaction. I need a place to stay for the night. Ugh. I've seen too many things I don't want to. Uh, confess. Old Lady Bush. Bleah. Agree. <coughs> Excuse me. Walk into the garden. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Now choose Chop Chop. Don't mention anything, third option. And then just choose to look into the bag. And that is another ending complete Orinis. That's uh, ending 18 out of 27 done now. Beautiful, we get torn to shreds. Uh, really, we've died more than we've actually helped so far. It's not particularly going well, but uh, well, there we are, such is life. And I still, I love the photo on the left, by the way, of this that weird crab lady. It's hilarious. So, now we're going back to the city entry and loading up that chapter again. There it is. So, right, from here, what we could do is turn around. And we're going to get the awesome music back. Uh, who, who the hell are you? I'm Bart Simpson. Sure, why not? 
and then thank her. One week. And this time we're going to go to the second option, which is the Gilman Hotel. So we've been to the other two places, but we haven't been to the Gilman Hotel yet. So that's where we're off. Lovely. Okay, go towards the main entrance. And now go to reception. We'll go to the reception. Uh, <laughs> this weird thing. I would like to book a room, please. How dare you discriminate against my people by not accepting these pubes. Anyway, um, we are going to choose a uh, Muriel sent me. And now choose business. For about a week. View of the beach. Top option, view of the beach. No, damn it. Nobody ever wants to be woken up, so no, damn it. I never sleep. Maybe tonight I won't be by myself. <laughs> wink, wink. It's me and my hand. <laughs> me and the five sisters. Um, my family is none of your business. Uh, yes, please. Uh, why are you asking me all of this? Sorry. So why are you asking me all this? Now it's yes, please. So I got a little bit ahead of myself there. No, no, no. Ten minutes, which is a hilarious Monkey Island reference, by the way. Uh, so ten minutes. Now choose Jado. And now choose the book wellness sessions. Third option there, book wellness sessions. And then choose to sign me up. Oh, really? Yes, I always wanted to see weird, stupid things. Which I've seen plenty of as I've been here. And I haven't even been here for that long. Right. What we're going to do then is to choose the top option, which will be to greet your fellow travellers. Now we're going to enjoy the journey. Now we're going to look at the harbour. Now choose our right after all. Go into the cabin. The dilapidated cabin, which is the top one. Watch how the situation unfolds. Yeah, this guy's fish face, hilarious. Uh, now choose meditation. Calm the group down. Next, to choose to join them. And now choose the sea. The sea, the sky. Hysterical. Now choose to grab it. <laughs> what are we grabbing? What did I miss something? Anyway, oh no, oh no, it's you. Look, I don't want to go again. No, no, no. Sorry. Uh, it was nice earlier, but it was just a curious thing, honestly. Have you grown teeth? You're the same fish monster. Anyway, communicate with the creature. And now choose. <laughs> <laughs> God, you're such a dick, sorry. So, choose to climb onto the cage. Some of the dialogue in here is hilarious. Really well done game. Um, now choose to stay away from them. Second option there, stay away from them. And then finally choose to simply don't move at all. So the second option again. And that's going to be the 19th ending done out of 27. Sadly, we do have to just go through the last bit again. From greet your fellow travellers, which is annoying. So, tentacles pull us into the depths of the sea, which, um... I mean, that's the... Are we, are we in a weird... Are we in a weird hentai thing right here? Hmm. Anyway, we're going to load the last chapter again. Like I said, we've got to do all that bit again, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but uh, there we are. So, again, greet your fellow travellers. Greet your meat by beating their meat. Uh, enjoy the journey. Look at the harbour. Our 
are right after all? Question mark? Go into the cabin. The dilapidated cabin as well. Or dilapidated, even. And now we can watch how the situation unfolds. The top option there, watch how the situation unfolds. Meditation again, when it appears, there it is. Meditation. Calm the group down. Join them. Now choose the C. And again, choose hysterical. Probably not in the funny way either. Grab it. And then Fish Monster's going to be like, Oh, hey. Oh, hey, buddy. It's you. Huh? <laughs> well, well, well. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Anyway, once again, we are going to communicate with the creature when we are able to. So now, top option, communicate with the creature. And next, we're going to climb onto the cage. Now choose to go up to them. Cling to the metal bars. Attempt to climb up further, because of course that's what you would be doing in real life. Cling to the bars even more. Again, top option. And then present a rational argument. Top option again, and that's going to get us the survivor achievement. Beautiful. There we go. So now you should have the survivor achievement. Now choose just you. Uh, no, sorry. Um, what were those creatures? Sorry, which is the second option? The so second option. What were those creatures? So, sorry, you almost hear you wrong then. I thought it was only one option out of there. And that is that for that ending. So that is already now 20 out of 27 um, endings. To be honest, the reason why it gets quite long towards the end is literally just the last couple of endings plus a couple of achievements we need to do as well so now we can load up the chapter for the gilman hotel so again make sure you've got gilman hotel cho uh, chose and then load chapter right now we're going to go towards the main entrance we are going to go to the reception And then, I would like to book a room, please. And again, no discrimination for not taking my pubes. Now choose, uh, Muriel sends me, or Muriel sends me, whatever a friggin' name is. Business. For about a week. View of the beach. No, damn it. I never sleep. Maybe tonight I won't be by myself. <laughs> wink, wink. My family is none of your business. Why are you asking me all of this? It is very strange, isn't it? No, damn it. No, 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 no. Oh, gonorrhea, gonorrhea. Ten minutes. Again. <laughs> J-Do. And then go to your room. So no more wellness sessions for us. We've done one. We almost died. So screw that. Right. Now we can walk around in the other wing of the hotel. So the second option. Next, look for the room that goes with the key. Second option down again. There it is. Happy days. Now we can unlock the door. Enter the room. And now for an achievement, we need to choose to look at the wall more closely. So top option, look at the wall more closely. That's going to get us Wall of the Weird achievement unlocked. And now we can just choose the third and bottom option, which is to get the hell out of here, man. Get the fudge out of my fudge, boy. So get out of here. And when we're in our room, we can now choose to rest.
Okay, little dream sequence going on. So now we're going to run faster. Squeeze through. Keep going. Bend those bars, Bender. And then choose to keep going again. And that is what will give us the 21st out of 27 uh, endings, which is called Nightmare. So we die in our sleep, which is, again, unfortunate, but apparently we've got a lot of issues. With all the things we've slept with, and with all the night terrors and stuff, and dying in your sleep, yeah, that's... A therapist is going to be charging mega bucks for you, boy. Anyway, what we're going to do now is load up the last chapter. So, a very short one, but we're going to look over your shoulder. We're going to face the creature. Ooh, it's a blob. Uh, look at it directly. It's a blob with one eye. Nice, nice. Now you can choose to look out of the window. Take flight. And lastly, but not leastly, the foyer. Or the foyer. Or the foyer. Whatever, I don't friggin' know, but it was a top option anyway. That's gonna get us the 22nd ending, a sacrifice to the gods. We're offered as a sacrifice to uh, McDaggins. So we basically get turned into a Big Mac. Or the, apparently not a breakfast wrapper or a bagel anymore, because McDonald's got rid of them, so... Screw you! Right, next we can load up the last chapter again. Uh, basically, we're going for an achievement this time, rather than an ending. So look over your shoulder. Next, we're going to face the creature. Now we're going to look at it directly. Which, I mean, he's only got one eye, so you can't miss it. So, we wake up, but now we're going to look out of the window. To the window, to the wow. Barricade the door. Barricade the door. Look out the window, barricade the door. And then choose awake and alert under the bed. Which is second option, and that'll get us the Welcome to the Hotel Massachusetts. So many Easter eggs, so many things I can make, f not make fun of, but uh, anyway, we need to rip up the paper now anyway. So top option, rip up the paper, and that's going to get us a repeated end, so don't worry about that. Um, now, basically on the PlayStation... It's probably worth quitting the game and backing up your save, um, because a whole bunch of small things are going to change, which can affect how chapter select does work. Um, so if something basically goes wrong, it'll just be nice that you don't have to go through a hell of a lot again. Um, but obviously, if you just choose the exact same options that I do, and what I tell you to do, then there's no, re uh, no reason to back up. It's literally just in case you make a mistake and have to go through a lot of crap again. Uh, but you should be fine just following the guide anyway. So we can go ahead, go to the main menu, and start a new game. There it is. So we're going to be doing this basically for the remainder of the game now. So about 45 minutes of doing this, which is hands hilarious. So first off, stay at your desk. Lovely. Choose a cigarette. Now say, who is it? Invite her in. Now she gets her ass right up on the corner of the desk. And we think that's a little bold. So choose the top option. Which is a little bold. Uh, choose the third option down. Decline. And now choose. You'll have to come back on Monday. I'm done for the week. Which is the norm for most people to be fair. You can't blame them. So you'll have to come back on Monday, I'm done for the week, and then choose, well in that case, I need you to leave. Which is unfortunate, so, unlucky Dahlia, you stink of bars, dude. But that is it, that's the 23rd ending, let's call it a day, you rejected the mission. <laughs> we're going on an adventure. Actually, n no, we did some good shit on TV, so uh, we're not going on an adventure. Frodo, everyone, get back to your huts. This is just not happening. Just not happening. No adventure. Sorry. Right. Load up the last chapter. So, 
Uh, basically, if you end up making a mistake at any save point from here until the next ending, um, it's probably worth starting a new game because this it gets finicky with the chapter select. But again, uh, you'll be fine with what, what I do here. So stay at your desk again, sorry. So again, just follow exactly what I do and you'll be fine. So choose a cigarette. Say, who is it? Invite her in. Again, she, she sticks a big fat ass on the desk, which is a little bold. Now choose, you've come to the right place, lady. Ask for more details. Now choose, what does your daughter look like? And this bit is... Honestly, the funniest bit in the whole game. <laughs> and it's the dramatic. It's a bit dramatic as well, and hit the music, but that's hilarious. Right, throw up into the drawer of your desk. You're a bit of a bastard for that, but that's very funny. Um, don't you think there's something strange about your daughter? She looks like Am's fish, after all. Um, right, choose <laughs> persist. Still funny. What about her father? Dig deeper. Dahlia's financial situation. You don't seem like someone who is handing out holiday brochures. No one you keep smoking and rubbing your big nips. In my face, yeah? Well, that is exactly what I'm talking about. The old nipple rubber, you. You got some breast milk in there you need to pump in? Um, yo-yos? Confront her? Has your daughter really disappeared? Ask more questions about the case. Does your daughter have any friends? Uh, probably not, I assume. No, I'm just joking. She's probably hilarious. Not that we found, anyway, but still. Um, and then she was, I have no further questions. Now we can accept the case. Of course, we're going to accept it this time. And now we are going to go by bus. So, a bit of a long conversation, but this time we're going by bus. Uh, yeah, so pretty. So, pretty. So, by bus, that's where we're going. Right, talk to the cleaner. Leave a donation. That's very nice of us, for once. Right, next we can show your ticket. And just keep walking. Next we're going to sit down with someone. Anyone. And now choose sit down anyway with old peanut head right here. So sit down anyway. Now we're going to talk to the stranger next to you. Did your head grow like that or are you supposed to be an actual peanut? Uh, do small talk about veganism. This is important. So small talk about veganism. Peanut head fish hands turns around and now we can continue talking. So that's one out of three times we've got to talk about veganism. Uh, the front window. So choose the front window. I'm not even going to make a joke about veganism because everyone will be pissed off and it'll just be too funny. Right. So now we've made slight friends with Peanut Head. Um, what we're going to do this time is ignore. So choose the ignore option. So we just want to get past this bit as quick as we can. So sorry, eyebrow lady. We're going to keep walking. We're going to run. Sorry, I just love her little dance and her little eyebrows and that. So run, and then we're going to go to the city center. So top option, city center. And now we're going to choose the fourth option to scope out the surroundings. Right, we're off to somewhere different in the alleys this time, which is nice. This time we go to the top option, which is Joe's Pizza and Burger. Oof, wow, hello, uh, <laughs> squeaky, squeaky voice team. Look at the menu. 
How can I help you? Order a vegan meal. Again, very important for the achievement. So order a vegan meal. Then choose to leave the snack bar. But there's, uh, but there's so much choice. And now we can continue to the arcade. So we'll leave Squeaky, squeaky Voice Teen to his uh, greasy forehead. My god, you're greasy. Okay, so this time we're going to choose Annoys You Already. Now choose to look at the games. The first person shooters. Boom! And get ready to enjoy Boom's music. Cue for Boom. Which, by the way, Boom, as in Doom, has the best music I would get anyone in gaming. True strategically, strategically, and then by running circles around them. Kick at whatever it is that is tugging at your coat. <laughs> Top option, so kick at whatever it is. Look down. Oh, hello, fish fish. Talk to Tabitha. Now choose to show her the photo. Uh, sorry, what? Bottom option there, sorry, what? Wrong! And then follow Evelyn. So this one is definitely a bit of a longer one. <laughs> But it's why we said try and maybe make a backup save just in case you make a mistake. But hopefully you're all good so far. So, walk along in silence this time. We can't be asked for it to um, <laughs> flap her gums about now. <laughs> Let's go. Now we can enter with her. And then choose case of ma'am. Dinner sounds splendid. Follow her. Start looking around. And then when we get inside, we are going to admire everything we've seen before, but we're going to choose to look around at the dining room. And you can gesture yourself off. Now choose third option, let the wine breathe. Let the wine breathe, 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 breathe. Uh, now we are going to be choosing Dahlia, you look stunning tonight, my fair lady. There it is, you look stunning tonight. And we're going to choose the mention your vegan lifestyle option. So second option, mention your vegan lifestyle. That should get us the vegan, by the way, achievement. Now we can just choose the yes, damn it option, the top one. And then choose silence. By the way, that's got to be a pop of vegans who constantly tell you that they're vegan, surely. Anyway, choose to introduce yourself. I leave you guys arguing with that one. And now choose to decline politely. What, what do you mean? Boop, 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 boop. And then choose... Screw you! Screw you guys! I'm giving you! Okay, so we're basically upstairs now. We're gonna be stabbed and all that jazz again, so. Right, let's let's do this one. Makes you shout for help. Choose the second option there, makes you shout for help. And then choose Dahlia. Third option. Wait and gather some strength. To get some spinach down you like Popeye. Flirt. Hot. Uh, no, sorry. Well, I'm free for the night. Sorry, got him switched around there. Well, I'm free for the night. Now we choose hot? Question mark. Wait. Wait, wait. Don't masturbate. Bargain. So top option there. Bargain. Then choose make it quick, will you? What did I do wrong? And then choose top option there, Dahlia.
And then say goodbye to Dahlia, which is the top option again, but it should get us the pain in the dot, dot, dot. Somehow we've annoyed someone to death, which does happen in real life as well, weirdly enough. Right, so that's the... Uh, we're going to fire a warning shot there, the bottom option, but that... We're going to get a repeat ending, which again is fine. We had to go through all of that um, just to get those two achievements. So it was a long-winded one, but we got the transformation. So we got the um, scales instead of our genitals now, which... Tiny, but we can use it very well. So back to the main menu. We're going to go back to the new... Uh, back to new game. And we're actually going for Broken Chains. We're going for another achievement and another ending. So we've got three endings left. So, stay at your desk. A cigarette. Say, who is it? Invite her in. Which is a little bold. Okay, get your ass off, ass off my desk, girl. And of course I will find your missing daughter. So we've cut out just a, quite a bit of dialogue there. Um, of course I will find your daughter. And we can just, again, go by bus. So we've got a picture of um, Fish Flap Gum Face right there. Now we can just go by bus. So this is where we're going to get another achievement. But first of all, we're going to talk to El Cleaner Reno again. So talk to the cleaner. Just take the ticket. Not feeling as generous this time, apparently. Uh, show your ticket. Just keep walking. Christopher walking. Sit down with someone. And then choose to sit down anyway. Because we are going to be friends with Peanut Head right here. Talk to the stranger next to you. Your parents always tell you, talk to the stranger next to you. Look the passenger over. Which is the second option there. So look the passenger over. Take a closer look at his clothes. Because apparently it's not the fish hands or the weird peanut head. It's the clothes you're a bit we uh, weirded out about. Now we are going to choose too few hacker scenes. So the bottom option there, too few hacker scenes. And then choose the bottom option, everything. Because apparently we're very excited about whatever we're talking about. That's going to get us the BFF's achievement anyway. So now we can choose the bottom option, which is talk about Innsmouth. Innsmouth. And right, since we're friends, we're all good, but we're going to choose the front window. Right, so, getting there, getting somewhere slowly now. Right, again, we're going to ignore, we're just going to get through this as quickly as you can. Sorry, uh, Miss Tomb Raider Titty, happy Martha woman. Keep walking. Run. By the way, why are our eyebrows in the top of a head? That's weird. You need to get that sorted out. Old fish mongrel head. Now choose the city centre again. And this time, we are going to go to the police station, which is the third option. So, Am's Parisa Reese Station. Right, new place. Let's talk to the guard personnel. Who is that weird, just, well, you'll see right now anyway. Yeah, that thing. No, why would you assume that? Why would you assume my gender? 2022. You know what I mean? Why are there so many people reported missing here? So that's the third option. Look through the policeman's papers. He looks like he'd eat you for breakfast, by the way, so very risky doing this. I can explain this. <laughs> I thought this was the way to the restroom. And then choose, uh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, buddy. Sorry. Please, brush your teeth. Or grow some more, whatever. Right, we are into El Prison Cellarini now. We have been here before, but we're going to talk to the woman again. Old Kate. 
Who are you? And this time, what we're going to do is the second option, attack. So attack this dude. Thing. And then choose thank him. Go on, Jonah, peanut head boy. You got this. Now choose to ask for help. What do you mean, tradition? Forget this hellhole and come with us. And finally, choose to jump down. I would like to know about Kate in a good mood, to be honest, but uh, we haven't got time. So, jump down. That is the 24th out of 27 endings, Broken Chains. We've been free from cell. Uh, so, apparently, we just nip on home. Get another Jack Daniels down us and a cheeky brew. And why not a KFC on the way home as well? So, right, here we go then. We're going to go back to the main menu now and start a new game all over again. And to be honest, this is where it get, this this is where it gets pretty annoying because we've still got about half hour left, and we have to basically start a new game all the time. And it's the same options as well: stay at your desk, a cigarette. So there we go. Stay at your desk anyway. Does it, this bit gets very repetitive very quickly? A uh, cigarette. And considering we've only got three more endings left as well, uh, say who is it? Invite her in. You haven't washed your bum properly, get that smelly thing off my desk, that's a little bold. Of course I'll find your missing daughter. Go on, get... I don't like smokers. Get the hell out of here. And obviously, you know, uh, fish face, blah blah blah, we know, we all know by now. And then choose by bus again. Right, guess who we're talking to this time? Ah, oh, that's right, it's the cleaner, because of course we're talking to the cleaner. Just t just take the ticket. I ain't got time to be charitable and nice. Up your gets. Right, now we're going to show your ticket again. This is a case where it's easy to just smash through it. Uh, just keep walking, by the way. Just keep walking. And now we're going to go to the rear bench. Because it's so monotonous, you just think, I just want to get through it quick. Quickly. Uh. Read the newspaper. Now, this bit is very, very important. Put away the newspaper. Make sure to choose the second option. Put away the newspaper. If you don't put away the newspaper, just restart it. Just restart the playthrough, okay? Now we can confront them. It's important for an achievement later on, that's why. And an ending. So, address the passenger directly for this bit. Push harder. Ah, the baby's coming! Push harder! Slap the passenger in the face. That's a bit harsh. She's trying to give birth, that's all. And now we can choose the side window. Okay, getting there slowly. Suspicious. Right, ignore. Sorry, Martha, baby. The G train. The G train has left the station. Uh, keep walking. Run! Going back to the city center. There it is, the city center. And now go back to El Police Station. So El Police Station, huh? Okay, okay. Now uh, we suppose I suppose we can talk to the guard personnel in a Spanish accent or whatever the hell accent that was. No, why would you assume that? Why are there so many people reported missing here? Look through the policeman's papers. I can explain this. I dot 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 can explain this, apparently. I thought this was the way to the restroom. And, uh, sorry. Right, so now we're going to end back up in the prison cell, jail cell, prison cell, yeah. Going to have lots of fun. God, I need a nap. Yeah. Right. Now we are going to talk to the woman. 
who are you? And again, what we're going to do this time is play along. There we go. Right, so now we're going to simply wait this time. Be quiet. Be very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. And now we can just keep walking. Just keep walking, walking. And then we can eventually... Eventually, just keep walking, walking, walking. And guess where we are? We're back at Gary's house. So, hello Gary, what's up buddy? We're going to agree with Gary once again. Haven't done this for a while, have we? Suggest that everyone goes home. No! No! Nine! Go berserk. But why? Now choose, I cannot see any proof of that. And then choose, let's get down, let's get down to business. And then choose the high priest, because the only high priest can do this. Then choose the man, that man, he doesn't know what he's doing. Or oh, that means he doesn't know what he's doing, sorry. And then choose me. Top option, me. And then choose, continue the ritual on Kate and Nalani. So continue the ritual on Kate and Lonnie, and that is the 25th out of 27 endings for getting blood on your hands. You sacrifice others to save yourself. Was it worth it? Well, well yeah, I'm still alive, so I'd say it's pretty worth it. I, I think that went quite well, actually. Right, so now we're finally going to load up a chapter, and we're going to load up the chapter for city entry. So thankfully, we don't have to go back to the bloody beginning again. So city entry, load the chapter... Blemissimo. Right. This time we're going to be nice. We're going to turn around. Do, 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 do. Love it. I love it. Who the hell are you? Sure, why not? Thank her. One week. Now we're going to go, uh, go to the harbour. The harbour. It sounds romantic. It's about as romantic as AIDS. Look around. And now we're going to the lighthouse. So we're getting a bit of uh, stretchy, stretchy, uh, thin, thin, wham, wham. Whatever the hell that meant or whatever the hell I just said. Right, choose danger. Danger. High voltage. Where we touch, where we kiss. Where we touch and where we kiss. Right, enter. Walk up the stairs. Keep walking. Keep Christopher walking. Keep walking up. You to be sick. Inspect the books. Up to the last level. Look at the cube more closely. Get out of this place. Get out of this hell hole. And then choose to um, just get out of this place. Just get out. There we go, lovely. Now we can just keep walking to the beach. So keep walking to the beach. It's getting there, we're getting there. We've got about 20 minutes left or so. <laughs> Cocktails! Ding, 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 ding! To the beach bar. And then we can choose to take up one of the deck chairs. To somewhere more private. Hey, hey. So Pam and her five sisters can have a little uh, look while I drink. Yeah, you get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, along the beach towards the lights. A rave. 
Only this time we're going to find it annoying. So choose the annoying option there, second one down. And then go back to the hotel. So this time, we, we ain't getting inside no fish creature for a laugh. No, I suppose you could put that on OnlyFans. That'll make you some freaking money. Right, look for another way in. I tell you what, breast milk makes a lot of money anyway. And fattening in a jar, apparently. Uh, give up. And yes, you hear me right. Uh, stay in the shadows. Yeah, you hear me right. Fattening in a jar. Some women's making like 300 quid a jar. What the f Anyway, knock on the door and ask for help. <laughs> Try another door. Simps are weird, man. <laughs> Simps are weird. So try another door. Try to provoke a reaction. We're going back down flirty route. <laughs> hey, you have beautiful eyes. Um, if you could just sort of f gloop one open there. Why, certainly. <laughs> and say join her. Okay, it's so what we got to do. What we got to do. The things we have to do. Think about Boston. And then choose incredibly hot. Last night was incredibly hot. Which, I mean, they, she's got... And then choose cool. Pretty cool, and that is the madness ending. And to be fair, women like that, you think, oh, they're just old Dorises, but they have got some experience. They were doing stuff in, in the Cold War and in the World Wars and stuff like that. So, yeah, they're good. Right, so we've lost our mind, which, after sleeping with Ethel, Dahlia... A couple of hookers, or a couple of um, brothel-infused people, and a fish monster. I, it's no surprise we're losing our mind a bit, to be honest. Not a surprise. So, now we're going to load up the city entry chapter. We are now finally going for the last ending, and we'll have a couple more achievements left to do after that. So, city entry, load chapter. Forget about everything you've slept with so far. Let's just do this, man. Let's do this. So, turn around. Come on. Let's end this. Um, who the hell are you? By the way, they've got the wobbly mechanics down in this game, haven't they? If, if you know what I'm on about. Uh, say, sure, why not? Thank her. One week. And now we can choose the harbour again. Okie doke, so now look around. To the lighthouse. To the wows. Drip drips down my bowels. So to the lighthouse, right. Now we're on the uh, beach again, going towards the lighthouse. So now we can choose danger. So the bottom option again, it'll be danger, danger. High voltage. And next, choose enter. Walk up the stairs. Keep walking. Keep walking up. You to be sick. Inspect the books. Up to the last level. Look at the cube more closely, and you can see Philip Schofield's face. And now, take the cube into your possession. This is an important one. Take the cube into your possession, and then we're going to start talking with uh, Mr. Cthulhu Monster Weird Thing. Oh my god, here we go. Right, choose slugs. Your landlady, that's a funny one. You try to run away. And then choose the bottom bottom option, I have no questions at this stage. So the bottom option, I have no questions at this stage. Just trying to get through this as quick as we can, of course. Um, a truthful account of your life. A professional clown. Gregor. Now choose bottom option again to leave the party. And then finally we're going to choose studying human history. And that is the final ending done. 
which is called Yes We Can. Can you do it? Yes, we can! But it also gets us the Cthulhu Fatagen achievement as well. So that is all the endings done. We spend six years of our life among the yet among the Yith. So well lucky there's lucky we haven't got no kids or nothing to look after, I suppose, eh? Right, so with that one done, we're just gonna We are actually going to start a new game again now. <laughs> Sorry, we're going to go for a couple of more achievements. We've got what have we got? Four more achievements left to do. So, yep, let's. We've got about 15 minutes left of gameplay, so let's do it, shall we? Right, new game, stay at your desk. Uh, a cigarette. Say, who is it? Invite her in. And again, which is a little bold. Get your buns off them buns, hands. And of course, I will find your missing daughter. This time though, we are going to choose, as soon as we get the horrific image of this girl out of our heads, by hitchhiking. So bottom option, by hitchhiking. We haven't done it yet, but we are going to now for a couple more achievements. Of four left, of course. Right. So it gets exciting now, because we're doing something different. So, your mood is optimistic. Threaten to beat her up. Keep threatening. Because that's just the kind of guy you are. Karma. Thought I said karma. My fat ass thought I said karma the first time. Uh, join them. Where are you headed? Now we're going to uh, just act normal. So, second option there, just act normal. Oh, god damn, it's a buffet family, okay. Right, just enjoy the ride. They look like the type that'll spend $15 at a buffet and stay there all day. Yeah, that one, those, those beautiful people. Right, what we're going to do now is don't get involved. So don't get involved, let them do their thing. Choose the fresh red paint on the sign. And say, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes. Now, pretend that you're deaf. So, we're basically being a dick again now. So, pretend that you're deaf. Throw sand into George's face. Oh, his teeth, I tell you what. You need to... You need to brush... Brush them gums. Right, throw the sand anyway. But of course, it's about a thousand dollars for toothpaste in the US, isn't it? Since you haven't got no dentistries and stuff. And we can walk away from this. So we need to choose the bottom option to walk away from this. But the penny pincher achievement should have unlocked for you as well. But there it is. So bottom option. No offense, US. I know you, you've got lots of great things, right? Right. Top option, pieces of paper with phone numbers, but no names on them. And then choose the city center in the north. I mean, joke in America, you... I know you've got very good things and, you know, British people haven't got no teeth and all that jazz. We, we know, we know. Right, scope out the surroundings anyway. We're going back to the arcades for one more time, I believe. So continue to the arcades. Top option gives you a jolt of nostalgia. And look at the games. The first person shooters. Boom. Q for boom. Strategically. And now choose by running circles around them. Now choose to look down. Now we can uh, talk to Tabitha. Show her the photo. And say, sorry, what? This time we're going to try, choose a nice try. And then go to the address that you've noted down. Right, we're almost done with this bit, by the way. So, <laughs> luckily, thankfully. Right. Now we're going to choose the third option, Innsmouth. Choose precisely. 
very excited indeed. I don't know how good that's supposed to be, but uh, now we can wait. As long as necessary, damn it! And finally, we are going to choose to try to distract them. So bottom option, try to distract them, and we get the karma achievement to unlock. That's how you do that one. Lovely. Now, wait till it auto-saves, which it should have by now, but once again, I just pressed the B button to go to the next dialogue bit. But now, we can uh, press the start, or options, whatever, press the start button, and then main menu. So let's go to the main menu, back out of there. And this time we're going to load the chapter Park and Ride. So go to where it says beach there, go down to Park and Ride. And now we can load up that chapter. We're so close now, so close to the end. Two achievements left to go. Two to go, thank God. Right, so once again then, once we are here, we're going to choose Optimistic. Choose Ignore Her. We're not going to be threatening anyone, we can't be asked. <laughs> this time. Join them. And we got the uh, Epic Buffet family. Where are you headed? To the buffet, man, where the hell do you think? Just act normal. And now we can just enjoy the ride. As long as I get a free buffet, I'm happy with that. But just enjoy the ride anyway. Right. Now, again, it's basically the same as we did earlier, but we're just going to choose a different place to go to. So, don't get involved. Involved. Eh? Now choose the fresh red paint on the sign. Oh, yes, yes. Pretend that you're deaf. Throw sand into George's face. Eh. Throw the sand anyway. Which is a bit harsh, really, but there we go. Um, offer your help. So, blind him and then go, oh, sorry, buddy. Let's get back. I was just joking. And then we can choose the pieces of paper with phone numbers, but no names on them. So, the top option there. And this time, we are going to choose the hotel in the south. And then when we do that, the Seen It All achievement should unlock. And again, after the autosave and the achievement unlocks, again, I'm just going to go to the next dialogue option, but then we're going to press Start and Options and then go back to the main menu. So when we get to this page, you should have autosaved, you should have added your achievement and trophy. So now we can just go back to the main menu. And now this is the final time. Thank God we are doing this for the final time. So park and ride, load chapter. Let's do this all over again for the final time. Yes! <laughs> right, so we're pretty optimistic again anyway. So optimisticity. Ignore her. I know you want me to beat you up, but I don't beat children anymore. Join them. Not since I got arrested there one time. Where are you headed? Just act normal. And now, again, we can just enjoy the ride. Again, joke, buffet, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Ha, ha. We already got that one. And here, we are basically seeing the exact same things we did earlier on. So, we are going to don't get involved. So, don't get involved. The fresh red paint on the sign. Oh, yes, yes. Pretend that you're deaf. Throw sand into George's face. Throw the sand anyway. <laughs> ah, it's so close. Offer your help. Now, this bit is important, again, actually, for the final achievement. Uh, pieces of paper with phone numbers on, but no names on them. And now we're going to choose the harbour in the east. So, 
two more big bits left and that is it let's do it so look around look around tell me what you see achievements and lock in like big willies uh to the beach that's my obsession with big willies i don't know right now we are here we're going to do a bit of cocktail drinking so that's what we're going to choose cocktails and now we're going to go to the beach bar Uh, take up one of the deck chairs. We'll take up one of the deck chairs. There it is. To somewhere more private. Nobody wants to see my depressing face. Right, now we're going back to the hotel. Now we're going to look for another way in. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm doing. I'm even doing my own uh, head in with my voice, to be honest. Now, look for another way in, anyway. And now we can give up. And this is it. We're on the last bit. Come on, final stretch. Woo! Finally. So, what would? What do you see? What do we do? We will walk towards them. Don't do anything else. Le cry for help. Evil Santa's back. Evil pissed off Santa's back. Uh, Le cry for help. And now choose. Meh. Meh. I'm Welsh. I shag all the sheep. Meh. What's all this about? <laughs> and now choose. Cry for help. Inform the FBI. Talk to the tourists. Scream at him with all your might. Scream. And then say, George, thank you. George, who you threw stones and sand at only this morning. <laughs> so say, George, thank you. I'm sorry for blinding you this morning, buddy. Where did he even come from, anyway? But still. And then say, that's deserved. And there we go. That will finally be that, then. Achievement should unlock. That should now be all endings and 23 out of 23 achievements. And trophies done. And the platinum as well, if you're, of course, on PlayStation. So there it is then, guys and gals. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. It, it was entertaining. A lot more entertaining than I thought it was going to be for a visual novel. Nice not to just press the A button relentlessly and mindlessly for five minutes. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you enjoyed the guide as well and that it helped. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Don't forget to check me out on my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon as well. And a big, huge shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals just have no idea how much it blows me away. Um, and again, thank you to everyone who interacts with me on the daily as well. So, that'll be that for that one then, guys and gals. I guess I'll see you in the next one. Ba-ba-ba-big love. <laughs>